Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. And there's so many parts of this that I find amazing, <laughs> ironic, fascinating. But it, obviously the deal has drawn some criticism. Let's start first with the fact that Al Gore, winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, former vice president, known as an environmental uh, guy, has sold his company to Al Jazeera, which is, of course, owned by the government of Qatar. Right. A yeah. government built which yes. built on oil wealth. So that's the green problem. Uh, and also a country that has been shown to have links to funding hardline Islamists in Syria and, uh, and Al Qaeda. Why would he do such a deal? And of course, Al Jazeera is, you know, in some minds of some people, still known best for being a conduit for messages from Osama bin Laden many years ago. Right. I think he did the deal because it was the best option he had. He wanted mm -hmm. to sell this channel, wanted to get it off his hands after nearly eight years uh, of, of, you know, getting almost nowhere with it. Really, in, in some cases, its audience actually declined over time, and that never happens in TV. Uh, but we saw uh, him several months ago come out and say, "I want to sell it. I'm not sure to who." And I think mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this was the best option he had, by far, probably the highest price tag. Uh, it's pretty clear that Al Jazeera overpaid because for them it was worth it. Right, now let's talk about whether they overpaid because they wanted to get access into the U.S. market. They've tried right. before. So current's in 40 million homes and they're paying for those homes. The minute the deal's announced, Time Warner Cable uh, says, hey, look, we're not going to air current, current anymore. So right. they lose some homes. Right. Um, right. And obviously that's what the price tag was based on. So what's going to happen here? I mean, is this going to be a colossal failure or can they, well, gonna, can they climb It's going to require more than 500 million over time. They do mm -hmm. have now these homes to start with and uh, homes like DirecTV, uh, Comcast, they've got a decent amount of the country but not nearly all of it. Right. Now they're going to have to go to other distributors, try to get better carriage for Al Jazeera and I think they're going to have to spend a lot of money on marketing and promotion and talent uh, for the channel mm -hmm. because if they want to compete with the likes of CNN and the BBC right. and other international news brands in America, they're going to have to invest a lot more money. All right, so first there was the irony about the, uh, the oil wealth, and there's the irony about the you know, government that also funds other things. And then there's a third irony, which is Al Gore, big Democrat, right, um, wants to get this deal done on December 31st. That's yes, what you report, yes. and there's a reason for that, right? New Year's Eve, because the tax rates were lower. The tax rates went up on <laughs> right. New Year's Day. They were desperate to get the deal done by New Year's Eve. In fact, they even told the distributors whose arms they were twisting uh, that they wanted to get it done by then. Unfortunately, they didn't. Unfortunately for Al Gore, they didn't. It got done on Wednesday instead. Uh, yeah. It's unclear how much more he had to pay in taxes, but we're probably talking about a significant chunk of change. Yeah, and we, I was just like kind of ballparking numbers, but it could be somewhere eight, nine million dollars. It's a lot. And I guess funny how it is, Al Gore, right? When we want to avoid the taxes. But why didn't it happen? I mean, if he wanted it done that badly on that day and then it's done the day after, was there some sort of a hiccup or a problem? Or? You know, they haven't let us in. They haven't let us figure it out. And unfortunately, right. these guys aren't giving interviews. I've been kind of surprised by the lack of access we've had into these companies to figure out what's, what's going on. <laughs> uh, maybe that's because uh, the, it leaked out before they were ready to talk about it. Maybe that's because they haven't decided what to do with the current staff members. You know, there's hundreds of staff members who are probably going to be laid off from this channel right. and hosts like Elliot Spitzer, Jennifer Granholm, Joy right. Behar. We're not sure what's going to happen to them. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll find out next week when they hold staff meetings. But it's a very strange way to see this channel sort of sputter off after right. so many years.